Thank you. Yes, congratulations. Thank you. Yes. Well, uh, Chris, it's a great movie. I really want to congratulate you. I really enjoyed myself a lot. Thank you. And um, the gang is back, and then just so many different things. So, what is different in this one compared to previous one? Well, uh, we've got a few m new cast members. We've got uh, uh, Mantis, who's an empath, bug-like alien, who's very peculiar and funny. We've got Baby Groot, a smaller version of the sentient tree. Uh, we've got Yondu coming back as a member of the Guardians of the Galaxy, as well as Nebula uh, joining forces with the Guardians. And then we've also got Kurt Russell playing Ego, the living planet, who is Peter Quill's biological father, and as we, uh, as Quill goes on a quest to understand his very, tr very peculiar heritage, uh, the Guardians join up, and uh, it's bigger, wilder, f more fun, more funny, uh, more dramatic. It's just kind of a, a heightened version of the first movie. Well, I think you know why you talk about more dramatic, and there are you know different messages in this storytelling as well in this movie storytelling, because we see the first time family relationship so called, but it's dysfunctional with ego. How do you see that relationship in the movie and in the storytelling? Um, well, you know the, the it's it's it, Quill learns a lot. Uh, from ego and about ego from ego yeah. uh he he learns he learns a, he has he learns a great deal of lessons uh, through this journey and and in terms of the relationship with his biological father and and the relationship with his adoptive father in yondu and uh you know there are a lot of really deep family stories told in, in this in this volume you get to learn more about each of the guardians, and uh, yeah, I don't know if I really answered your question. Or yeah, not. yeah, definitely, definitely. Well, actually, what I'm wondering is, you know, so much, you know, uh, digital images and imaginary uh, material in the movie. Do you mm -hmm. think, you know, some of these are happening maybe in 2050, 60, in terms of human, you know? nature maybe half digital half human like in like um well i mean i don't know maybe it's hard to say what uh, will be happening in that amount of time i mean technology grows and advances so quickly i think that's maybe like moore's law or something um you know each piece of each year, we're we're kind of like we're growing exponentially in terms of our abilities, technologically. I think filmmaking has certainly advanced a lot in the past twenty years. Yeah. I'll be curious to see what we can, what we're capable of doing in twenty fifty in, in film, but I don't think we're going to have like you know, digital people running around per se. But mm -hmm. who knows? It's it could be stranger things could happen. There might be talking raccoons in 2050. You never we'll just know. Have to wait and see. <laughs> yes, Chris. What I'm wondering is, what do you think the audience of the you know movie after watching the movie will take away after watching the movie? Uh, I hope I hope that they just uh, get some beautiful escapism. I hope it's mm -hmm. I hope it kind of brings the world together. I hope people can all agree that this is a, a fantastic way to spend two hours uh, and and you know I. I Honestly, I hope people are entertained. I hope people are spend, you know, their time just laughing and crying and being moved and being transported to this world and following these people that they've grown to love on an adventure that they can't wait to share with their friends. And do you have any message for your Turkish fans? Um, go see Guardians of the Galaxy. I think you'll love it. It's uh, universally appealing. It's beautiful and wonderful and. And um, we made it for you, so I hope you enjoy it. Thank you so much. It was Thank great you. talking yeah, to you. Yeah, nice talking Thank to you, you as well. Thank you.